So let's open the gate for it. Getting to compete at all the major stock shows around the world and the best animal athletes in the world, it doesn't get much better than that. It's fast paced and it's aggressive and it's athletic. And I don't actually know how many people they can fit inside NRG Stadium, but when you're down in the buck and shoot, you can really hear the roar of the crowd, and I mean, that fires you up and gets the heart beating for sure. I'm a full-time professional cowboy. That's how I pay my bills and put a roof over my head and food on the table, so having these great opportunities to ride at these big rodeos is, is, is just such a blessing. It's crazy to think that I dreamt about this as a kid when I ran away from home, that I wanted to be a, a rodeo cowboy in America. I ran away from the city, so I, ever since I was a kid, I had this like feeling from God that I needed to be with horses, and so I just ran ran to where they were. Ended up on a cattle station because I met some kids at a boarding school that I ended up at. Being able to make my dreams come true through hard work and determination and faith, yeah, it's it's a remarkable feeling. And you know, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it without God in my life. I mean, as a troubled kid running away from home, how could they? How could a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old kid know exactly? where he was going or, or what he was going to do for the rest of his life. So there was, there was somebody looking, up, looking over me the whole time. Anything can happen and yeah, it's feast or famine. So it's all up to you at the end of the day. To be the only Houston local rodeo athlete competing in the rodeo, man, it fires me up. It pumps me up. It's, um, it's really exciting to be able to ride in front of a home crowd. I've got my whole church coming to watch me and family and friends and fans and all the people I train and work out with at the Ironman clinic that I train at during the day. Um, I'm pretty fired up about it. I'm looking forward to, to seeing all, all my friends and family out there and riding in front of a hometown crowd. I really can't wait to use my testimony to inspire kids that may have had the same or similar upbringing as I have to rise up out of the circumstances that they're in. And, um, and if I can help one kid become a rodeo athlete or find a life other than all that they know, then that's what will really make me feel successful. That's more important to me than winning a gold buckle or winning a million bucks. Gold buckles fade and money goes away, but if you can form a legacy and help someone out and help the next generation carry on what we've had, then, then you're really succeeding.